during the night somebody ripped off the back of the trailer. Hi guys, and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. And today I want to talk about cargo theft. It is on the rise, and I am going to tell you about two crazy situations that happened to prime drivers recently. One, I have pictures where the trailer was broken into, and I went, holy crap. And number two, one of our drivers was followed, and I'm going to tell you what happened with that. Also, first, I want you to check out Wheel Burner Express. His channel is doing a charity fundraising event. This is the second time they've done this. They're going to make it an annual event. His subscribers voted on the charity that they're going to be donating to. This event is going to take place on June 22nd. That's this Saturday. They've set a goal of $10,000. And it's even going to be so that if they reach the goal, the guys are all going to shave off their beards and you're going to see guys shaving mohawks in their head. It's here a mohawk going this way instead of this way. So it's going to be an interesting, fun event. On that day, they're going to be giving out merch from Snorlord DIY Semi. And they're allowing me to donate my novels. Now, you, if you've been here with me for a while, you may know I'm a published novelist from before I came into trucking. So on June 22nd, I will be sharing a link over on his channel where all of my eBooks are free. You can download one of them. You could download all of them. I also am donating 10 audiobooks to be given out. So you're going to have merch from Snorlord, merch from DIY Semi, and my books if you're interested. This is a really hard time for truckers. About a year and a half now, the, the market has not been good. There's been oversaturation of drivers, and it's kind of been doom and gloom. And right now, we need some positivity. And if you could just not get your truck washed for one one time that week, if you could just walk away from Denny's or Subway and not get that $10 meal or $20 meal, and you're willing to donate it to a charity that's a good cause, you can check out their website. It's ForgottenAngelsFlorida.org. It's a really good charity that is helping kids that were in the foster care system, helping them transition out. They also help some special needs children. And we have all had some bad things happen to us in our lives. We have all had bad moments in our past, in our childhoods. And this could be a way for you to help somebody else, even if it's just giving up your cup of coffee for today. Okay, on that day, on June 22nd, over on Wheelburner Express, they're going to post a link that you can donate directly to the charity. It's going to be a motivation factor for everybody involved in that fundraiser. It's a great way for truckers to give back. Last year, I think he said they raised like $6,800 for St. Christopher's, which is a charity that helps truck drivers. So this year, his subscribers actually chose the charity themselves. Please help out. Please go over and check it out. Tell them I sent you. And I hope to see you on June 22nd. If you are a YouTuber, please, please, please get involved with this. Please share out his link. Please get you know people in because we really need some good motivating positivity right now in the trucking industry. So now <laughs> let's get to this, this cargo theft situation. We had one driver posted over on a Facebook group pictures. They had spent the night in a customer in New Jersey. I don't know what the customer was, and I wouldn't say who it was anyway. They had gotten unloaded, had a lock on their trailer door, which is Prime's policy, parked for the night at the customer's location. And during the night, somebody ripped off the back of the trailer pole that the door handles are attached to. You have one bracket on each door and you put the lock through. The whole pole that holds that bracket on, the whole pole with the door handle was completely removed. Driver woke up in the morning and kind of laughed about it because the trailer was empty. But those are some determined people and really, really sneaky. Okay, 
really sneaky. And if you want to find out more about cargo theft, Snorlord had a great, great, great interview with a broker. And I'll put that link down below because I learned so much. He was talking about so many things. He was talking about insurance claims and progressive insurance and, and relationships with brokers. But at one point he was talking about the cargo theft and how these, these gangs and these organizations will follow trucks, how they will pretend to be the truck that's supposed to be picking up at a dedicated route. They'll put on, they'll Velcro license plates on the back of the truck. They'll put fake decals on the sides of the trailers to make the truck look, for, you know, similar to what's supposed to be going in. So it's really, really a well-orchestrated type of scenario. And it was really interesting and eye-opening for me. So make sure you check him out. So something else that happened that I got a call from one of our drivers this week was this driver was driving down the road and realized that there were a couple vehicles behind her that were following her. Okay. This is why you always need to stay vigilant no matter where you are. She got a little nervous and I've had this happen before where you start to feel like you're a little paranoid, especially if you're on a road that might not have exits, you know, quickly, you know, they might have very long miles or very long distances before there's an exit. So of course the person's following you because the next exit isn't for 20 miles. So sometimes you start to feel a little paranoid. But what she said was when she changed lanes, they changed lanes. When she slowed down, they slowed down. So she called up dispatch and she said, I'm being followed. And then 911 was called. She actually got off at an exit and then came back on. They got off at the exit and came back on. So it was really apparent that she was being followed. The dispatcher told her, just keep driving. We don't even want you to stop. Just keep driving. The officer's on the way. And when the officer was in the, in the distance and, and she could see them, the car saw them too. And the cars wound up speeding around her and then the cops went chasing. And so that was definitely a situation. She was being watched. Don't take for granted that you're safe because you're in a truck. On I-94 recently, there were two truck drivers that were shot by somebody who was passing them on the shoulder. One thing that people complain about is our governor speed limit at 65 and you get two trucks down the road, left and right lane, and they're playing this little stupid game and nobody wants to like just lay off the pedal a little bit. Well, a pickup truck came around them and just start shooting out the window just because he was mad he couldn't get around them. So it can be dangerous out there. This is the reality of trucking right now. Be safe, be smart, be vigilant. Call 911, call your dispatcher, let them know what's going on. And, you know, and make sure you go and donate over to Wheelburner Express. I really hope to see you guys out there, over there, and be safe. And I hope to see you out there, truck, truck, trucking along. Bye.